Stephen Kessis, Rifle Team and Association of MTK Global at the final press conference here for Joshua Klitschko. I'm joined by Anthony Joshua's trainer, Rob McCracken. How are you, mate? Oh, yeah. I'm all right, mate. Yeah? Yeah, good. Don't always say a lot in these press conferences, do you? Just... Yeah, because it's about the fighters. <laughs> <laughs> it's not about the coaches. <laughs> all right. Are you saying some trainers can take a leaf out of that book? But I don't know. Some, some people like to read the training, so... Yeah, I mean, he's, he's, he's trained really well. He's had a good camp. He's sparred with lots of different styles. Boxers that come forwards and boxers that move away and, and trying to copy what Klitschko does and stuff. Obviously, they're, they're not Klitschko, but we've tried to create that in the gym and Anthony's worked through a good, long, solid 12-week camp. Had a few breathers along the way, but he's ready. He's in great shape. Is there more unanswered questions about Vladimir Klitschko than Anthony Joshua going into Saturday? Possibly. I think there's... a. You know, it's boxing. 90,000 people, huge crowd. Nobody knows what's really going to happen. Is Anthony ready? Is Klitschko one fight too far for him? That's why everybody's intrigued by this fight. Klitschko a tremendous fight. Anthony a tremendous prospect. And this is really what boxing is all about. You know, you have to roll the dice at some point. Anthony won the Olympics in 2012. We're now into 2017. Has he got enough experience and has he, has he learnt enough between now and then to beat a Klitschko who possibly... Possibly, isn't it? He's very best. We'll find out Saturday night. What was your immediate thought when the fight was put to you? With the first thought about, you know, what do you think about Joshua fighting Klitschko? What was your first I think thought? Like, like the the obvious one, where you know you'd have, you'd have hoped the Molina fight would have gone seven or eight rounds because Molina, you know, goes rounds with 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 Wilder and, and fighters like that. You'd have hoped that he got a bit more experience, Anthony, in those fights. But obviously, he's powerful and he's been able to stop them and dispatch his opponents. Um, my initial response was we'll have two, two or three, four more fights for experience. But then when you look at it and you see where you're at in the stages of their careers and what a big opportunity is for Anthony, at some point you're going to roll the dice. And, and this is the perfect time. You know, what's the evidence? Klitschko's last two fights, um, he looked great up until the last two fights. He looked great against Pulev. And yet arguably he could say, well, I wasn't motivated for the Jennings fight. And, and, the, and the Fury fight, but ultimately what we watched was Tyson Fury have a, a brilliant victory over him and, and, and Klitschko look out of sorts and, and, and not really you know, know what, what to do with somebody like Fury. And before that, Jennings, who normally, you know, with respect to Jennings, he'd have probably dispatched the way he dispatched Pulev, but he, he, he made hard work of that. So, you know, there's evidence to say that, that he's not at the best of his powers. He'd argue that I was unmotivated and I'm going to prove it on Saturday night. And we're saying, OK, Anthony's at the stage now where he's got to, he's, he's got to step up, he's got to fight somebody at the top, but why not fight Klitschko, who, who arguably is one of the best heavyweights in the last 30 years, who's possibly not at the top. Will he get the proper credit he deserves if he's victorious on Saturday, do you believe? Um, I'm sure he will. Klitschko's a, an unbelievable fighter, and, and Tyson Fury pulled off a, a magnificent victory to beat to beat Vladimir Klitschko. Uh, you know, and, and Pete, well, certainly I would say that was a tremendous achievement by Fury. If Anthony does the same against an excellent a fight, fighter as Vladimir Klitschko, who's who's got a tremendous winning record and, and and huge success in the sport, I'd say that's a tremendous achievement by Anthony Joshua. But ultimately, it's going to be a tough fight Saturday night because Klitschko's a great fighter. Just finally, what did you make of his uh, gadget in the robe gesture, which obviously he's going to uh, hopefully raise some money for the Klitschko Foundation. So, uh, But what did you make of that whole thing, his predictions on that little memory thing? Yeah, he's, listen, he, he's heavyweight boxing, he's confident, he's had a lot of success in his career, but certainly Anthony Joshua is very confident as well Saturday night, and we're confident Saturday night. So it's by the by, really, you know, what you want to happen doesn't always happen. And I don't want to be 48, I want to be 38, but I'm 48, and that's life. So you're not really bidding for the memory stick after the fight? No, it's fine. <laughs> Rob, thank you very much for talking to our full TV, and uh, best of luck on Saturday night. Cheers, mate. Cheers, mate.